Who are you? It's me, Hubert. What? Hubert. Keep your distance. What are you doing in my fucking woods? Tom. It's me. Oh, yeah. Hugo. Hubert. Hubert. Where have you been? Oh, I've just been here. Why? It's my New Year's resolution. What? At the end of last year, right, I got this notification on my phone about somebody's dinner and I just thought, that's it, phone off, I'm done. I don't want to know what anyone's having for dinner unless I'm getting some, do you know what I mean? What are you talking about? I got this news alert on my phone at the end of last year telling me that some chap had just eaten a bat. And I just thought, <laughs> you know, sod off, that's not news. You know, the effects of, of a man, and it will have been a man, I'm afraid, eating a bat over in China is not going to alter the course of world history. It might. No, it won't. It can't. You know, and that's what drove me here. I couldn't take any more bullshit, so I decided that's it. A month off grid. Tom, it's December. I live my life in a very simple way these days. I forage, I hunt, I only masturbate if... Hang on, it's... What? You've missed the year. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. The whole year. All 12 months. Well, why didn't you come and get me then? Christ. But, hang on. What? Oh. What? I, I missed the, the whole the whole year. I bought, I bought tickets for Glastonbury. I, I was, I was going to go to the Olympics in Japan. I had tickets for Miss Universe Iceland. I was really looking forward to this year. Weren't we all? Oh, man, this is a nightmare. There's a lot of money I've pissed away. Fuck! Fuck it! Ow! Fucking hurt! Ow! Now you need to pull yourself together and strap yourself in because 2020 has been a horror movie featuring too much alcohol, endless Joe Wicks workouts and a plethora of shit haircuts. Ugh. Can't have been that bad. Tom, I'm a celebrity who was in Wales. Kobe Bryant died. Diego Maradona died. Chadwick Boseman died. Oh my God. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Alex Trebek, Diana Rigg, Bill Withers. Chichi Devane, Peter Green, Naya Rivera, Bobby Ball. Prince Andrew. Not yet, I'll come to him. Oh, the man is indestructible. Terry Jones, Ian Holm, Jeffrey Palmer, John Sessions, Max von Sydow, Kirk Douglas, Neil Peart, Vera Lynn. We'll meet again. You won't, she's dead. Oh. Toots Hibbert, Jackie Stallone, Lynn Shelton, Honor Blackman, Eddie Van Halen, Barbara Windsor, and Sean Connery, all dead. Oh my God. Honestly, Tom, in terms of deaths this year, that's not even scratching the surface. On top of all that, there was a massive explosion destroying half of Beirut, and Sir Ian Botham was made a lord for loyalty to Brexit, not to mention floods, hurricanes, wildfires. Truly biblical. Jesus. You'll be telling me there's been a plague next. There hasn't been a plague, is there? COVID-19, they called it. Remember the bat? Well, that was how it began, in a wet market in Wuhan, China. Jesus Christ. And then it just spread across the globe. We must have been fine, right? You know, we're a superpower, we've got the NHS, we've got Brexit done. <sighs> anyway, in January, Matt Hancock told us the threat level was low and that we were fully equipped to handle the forthcoming. Were we? Yes. Really? No. Uh. Boris Johnson. Sorry, is he the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson? Well, it's either Boris Johnson or Marcus Rashford, no one quite knows. Anyway, bumbling Boris ended up contracting the virus and winding up in intensive care, all because he insisted on continuing to shake people's hands. What's wrong with shaking people's hands? It's against the rules, Tom. Rules he enforced. Well, cut him some slack. You can't expect him to get it right every time. He's a footballer. Oh, no, that's Marcus Rashford. Yeah. The Prime Minister. Boris Johnson's the Prime Minister. Well, who's Angela Merkel, then? She's Chancellor of Germany. Meghan Markle. What? Boris Johnson models himself on Churchill. Well, I think you'll find the only Churchill Boris Johnson models himself on is the nodding dog from the insurance adverts, just idly agreeing with anything Dominic Cummings tells him to do. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, um... Anyway, what do you think you get when you cross a deadly airborne virus with an incompetent prime minister and a useless test and trace system? I don't know. What, what do you get if you cross a deadly prime... What was it? 60,000 deaths and rising. It's not a very funny joke, mate. It's not a joke. 
Lockdown? Well, that must have helped, right? Well, yes, except we did it too late. We were all too busy attending football matches, horse races, and stocking up on despicable amounts of loo roll. Oh, why don't bog roll for us? Just use me hand. Anyway, that's when we locked down. Those of us who could afford to stay at home stayed at home. What about those who couldn't? They kept on. Some were furloughed. What, they just paid everyone to stay at home? If you were employed, yes. If you were self-employed, God help you. Then after about four months, we opened up again. Rishi Sunak encouraged us to eat out to help out. Eat out to help who out? Well, the hospitality sector, but it mainly just helped the virus. Gavin U-Turn Williamson then practically forced students off to university and cases inevitably soared again. Only this time, the government had someone to blame. Meghan Markle? No. The EU? No. Prince Andrew? No. They blamed us, the general public. No, hang on. The government were the ones encouraging everyone to go out and have kebabs. Yes, but it was our fault, as usual. Students were literally locked into their halls, Tom. Barriers were erected. Sounds like it all end in tears. Yeah, specifically tears one, two and three. What does that mean? Basically, if you want a pint, buy a scotch egg. <laughs> so, yeah, essentially, no one's really seen anyone all year. Well, you know, if there's any consolation, nor have I. Actually, no, I tell a lie. I, uh, I did go on a day trip. Day trip? Where to? Just to a 12th century castle. Hmm, which one? Barnard Castle. I had that thing, you know when your eyes go funny, so you've got to go to a old castle, test them. I did that, but, you know, I only saw, like, one other person, so. Did he look like a sort of evil E.T.? Yeah, he did, yeah, like, um, a nerdy Geordie Smeagol. Cummings. <laughs> We're going to have to isolate. I'll see you on Zoom. What's Zoom? Hello? Hi, Tom. This is Zoom. Just Skype, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, essentially it's, um, it, it's, it's basically Skype. This is really how we've oh. all communicated all year. So, you know, family get-togethers, weddings, Hindus. Almost like, I'm almost like, an, almost like an alien here. Oh, sorry, carry on. This is where we... That's the Northern, the Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. The Beach, starring um, William Wall Street. That's this, that's this jumper. I've got an idea. Zoom quiz. Where's he gone? Hugo? Tom. Why are you not clapping? It was fucking useless, isn't it? What's the point in clapping? Give them a pay rise. Don't vote for a party that wants to decimate the NHS. Oh, with your fucking pot, state of you. John le Carre and Ryan King. And that was when I, you know, I, I thought the only thing I could really do in that situation was, was, was stop communicating with her. Otherwise, she... She would have found out that you were married and about your whole situation. I know. And do you know how I know? Because you've already told me this anecdote three times today and five times yesterday. That's eight times in about... 36 hours, mate. You've got two anecdotes. Is that all that's ever happened in your life? Two things. I'm, re I'm sorry, I didn't realise no, that. No, I mean, you, are, you know, you say sorry, you say sorry, and then you just fucking do it again. Gerard Houllier, Jeremy Bullock. It's three o'clock in the morning. Could it not have waited? Tom. Tom. Hello? Yeah? Hi there. Sorry, you disappeared. I didn't know where you'd gone. I ju I've just been, um, I've got a cat. <sighs> Tom. <sighs> What are you doing? Fuck off. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Tom. I've come to talk with you again. Tom. Cause it isn't softly creeping. Tom. Is Oi. Oi. No. Tom. Tom. Oh my God, can you fuck off? Who the fuck is this Captain Sir Tom Moore? He basically walked up and down his garden. It was just to raise money for the NHS. I've been living in the fucking woods for a year. Why, why is he getting sponsorship for? <sighs> All right. Hey. Huh? How are you? Are you getting pissed on your own again? Yeah. It's all right. I did it yesterday. Lockdown, eh? How have you found isolation? Tom, have you frozen? I haven't frozen. Honestly, it's just I'm that bored of this fucking Zoom now. We have been on Zoom solidly. You're taking more interest in me when I'm not here than when you actually saw me. It's, but this is so weird. I just, I, I, it's the company I, I relish. Why didn't we just isolate together? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you weren't enjoying it. Well, I guess I'll see you. All right, cheers. Okay, see you, mate. Why aren't you wearing trousers? It's so weird. Why have you come back? So, how was your isolation? Yeah, it was uh, it was good actually. I I baked sourdough. I did yoga with Adrian, Adrian, uh, and I watched Tiger King. I've seen it. Oh, uh, normal people. Yes, I've seen that too. I may destroy you. Yeah, I may destroy you, mate. Don't threaten me. Thomas, a series. Yeah, you're a series.
Poor life choices. Look at the state of you. You're the one living in the woods. Yeah, by the sounds of things, I got the better deal, didn't I, with your coronavirus? At least I was happy. Right. Prince Andrew, Prince Harry, what happened? Well, they both resigned from their royal duties. Same reason? No. Let's just say Harry got a Netflix deal and Andrew's hoping for a plea deal. Right. Anyway, there has been some good news. We had our first same-sex couple on Strictly Come Dancing. Bit of progress. Keir Starmer became leader of the Labour Party. See, I told you, didn't I? I told you they'd elect a woman. And Dominic Cummings finally resigned. Yeah, piss off, Dominic, you bull twat. And I suppose, you know, boy. lockdown really made us stop and realise what actually matters. Yeah. Bog roll. No, Tom, not bog roll. I mean, things like the NHS, teachers, family. Poorly edited videos of smug celebrities singing songs in their enormous houses, highlighting just how out of touch they are while real people are losing their jobs and literally dying. Okay. Also, there's a vaccine now. Oh, well, yeah, well, that's brilliant, Hugo. Hubert. Hubert. But how can you expect anyone to administer it properly when you've still got these morons running the world? One less moron. Oh, so Prince Andrew did die? What is it with you and Andrew? Nothing happened. Why? Donald Trump lost. Joe Biden's going to be the president. No way. Yep. And Kamala Harris is his vice. Well, that's, that's amazing. But, but how come Trump lost? Over 300,000 Americans have died of the coronavirus. On his watch. The blood is on his hands. I, I think that's fake tan, mate. No, Tom, it's a saying. No, oh, dude, I know it's a saying, but what I'm saying is because he's got orange, famously orange hands, doesn't he? And blood is red. Yeah. You're saying he's got yeah, blood yeah, in his hands. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying he's I got get the, joke. Well, the mechanics of the joke. Well, why aren't you laughing? Why haven't you laughed? I'm sorry, it's just been a hard year. Yeah, it's all right. Just keep your distance. Well, no, we've just been isolating for two weeks, haven't I? So don't need to. It's not that. No. Anyway, as if things weren't hard enough, there was also massive civil unrest following the murder of a man named George Floyd. And that was it. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. At a time when everyone was being forced to stay apart, we all made a decision to come together. I mean, it's, it's desperately sad, but it's kind of amazing. It was a wake-up call. For me, at least. It felt like finally people had begun to listen and engage with BLM. Which is why we need to keep fighting. Absolutely. And you need to get out the woods, wash your hands and educate yourself. It, it would be my privilege. Yeah, exactly, it would be your privilege. So yes, it's been an awful year. Truly heinous, a pig. But it does feel like sooner rather than later, things will get better. So. Are you ready? Should we get you out of here? What, out of the woods? Yes. Back into the back into the real world. Back into the real world, yes. With Tesco's and that. Sainsbury's. And all the ham you can eat. <sighs> I do love ham, don't I? I do love ham. Yeah. <laughs> Black forest, honey roasted, wafer thin, prosciutto, salami. Any of them. I'll eat any of them. Don't matter. It's a big decision. Huh? What? You know, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about ham. No, I'm not coming with you, mate. It sounds absolutely terrible. Are you sure you told me everything? Um... Oh, no, sorry, I did forget one thing. Boris cancelled Christmas. Happy New Year! Yeah.